I say that I'm the founder of Free Comic Book Day, but uh, fortunately I don't have to do all the heavy lifting. Bring those in here and get those deals, and, okay? Uh, and the, probably the best One day I was um, scratching to beat a deadline, actually, and it was uh, April 2001. Baskin Robbins would do a thing called Free Scoop Night. And I looked from my office out the front door and I saw this long line of people out there. Wow, this is something we could do for comics because, you know, the only thing cooler than ice cream is comics, right? That's the end of the line. Oh, I, I wrote this article that um, uh, my column for the magazine, and in it I pretty much laid out the whole parameters for what Free Comic Book Day would be. That uh, publishers would publish special edition comics that we would give away on the day, and it would be a great way to call back people who used to be comic book readers, or um, a great way to introduce new people to comics. Probably the smartest thing I did with that column is I made sure that there was response from the rest of the industry to tag on to my column. The response was uh, very positive. Uh, we had a meeting that happened then in October 2001. It was the first time the industry had gotten together after 9-11. Uh, and in the meeting were the uh, heads of Marvel and DC and Dark Horse and Image Comics and Diamond Comic Distributors and me. I sort of sat back and just wanted to see what would develop. It was a really fragile time in the country because it was post 9-11. Companies that had normally really bickered with one another and not gotten along knew that th this was something to kind of bring the whole industry together. So everyone just dropped all of their normal uh, ways of uh, not doing business with each other and said, yes, we have to do this. It's just such a great way to introduce. It's sort of like we say, the gateway drug to this world, this universe of comic books. And I think it's a great institution now, what, 11 years that it's been going on. Uh, it, it always gets good press. There's always, now they coincide big movie releases with my free comic book day and things like that. So yeah, I just think it's great. There you go. Hello. You want some of these? Serenity Star Wars flipbook. So it's two stories in one book. Awesome! You know, I think it gives a lot of people a voice who who are searching for one. You know, I think that a lot of people find in comics sort of like-minded souls, and, uh, and you know, it's it's a uh, it's a wonderful place to escape to. Where are we looking? There? There, yeah. I uh, just enjoy, enjoy. Uh, you know, pick up something you've never seen before, and you know, explore. Yeah. I just want to let you guys know that uh, Joe Field, Concord resident here and owner of Flying Colors Comics and other cool stuff, is the founder of International Free Comic Book Day event. And whereas Free Comic Book Day promotes literacy and distributes free reading material and reading in readers of all ages and interests, on the first Saturday of May, comics are proven educational tools helping reluctant readers take an interest in and develop a lifelong love of reading. It was an industry effort and um, we've gone from that first event where there were 
uh, four free comic book editions and I think five publishers participating to this year where there are more than 40 different special edition free comic book day comics and about uh, 35 publishers participating. Free, free comic book day! Go, 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 go.